Queens for Cutie and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I want to tell you guys about like Credit Karma. How does it work? Should you get it? And I want to tell you guys about other little companies just in case you don't know about it. If you're addicted to your credit and you want to keep seeing, I'll tell you about those other companies that you can go ahead and get. So if you want to sign up for Credit Karma, all you have to do is go to creditkarma.com and you'll sign up. So they're just going to need your basic information like they'll need your name, your address, your email address, your phone number, and then they'll need the last four digits of your social security number, your date of birth. After you put all this information in, they're going to give you your account. They're going to pull your credit reports. So they're going to pull your TransUnion and your Equifax credit reports. Now, when they pull this information, they're going to be able to show you, okay, this is your credit score and these are your credit reports. Now, the thing about Credit Karma is you do not get your Experian credit report. You do not get your Experian credit report. If you want to see all three of your credit reports, all three of your credit scores, look down in the description. I have a link for Identity IQ. Sign up for Identity IQ. They'll give you your credit reports for just a dollar for the first seven days. And then after that, they're going to charge you $21.99. But if you don't want to keep saying it, just cancel it. But they'll give you your credit reports for a dollar for the first seven days. And you'll have all three of them and all three of your credit reports. But Credit Karma doesn't allow that, but just in case you wanted, I want to let you know about that. So while you're on Credit Karma, they're going to have your TransUnion, Equifax, credit, your credit score, and your credit reports. So when you enter Credit Karma, they're going to tell you like your negative items on your credit report. So a lot of people, they're repairing their credit. So if you want to see like your collections, your charge-offs, your late payments, they're going to have all of that on Credit Karma. They're going to let you know your utilization. I talk about utilization all the time, like how much you spend compared to how much you have available. So they're going to let you know this information too. Another thing, this is like the most important part of what you need to see. They're going to list all of your accounts and your credit reports. Sometimes when you're on Credit Karma, you will see a section that have your derogatory marks. But guess what? That's not everything that's negative. I want you to go to your total accounts. So it's going to be three boxes at the top and there's going to be three of them at the bottom. I want you to click right there where it says your total accounts. Now when you look under your total accounts, they'll show you all of your accounts that's actually on your credit reports. Now keep this in mind too. While you're looking in there, you need to show the hidden accounts. So sometimes you'll see a link where it says hidden accounts. And if you want a detailed video, you want to see all these different steps, go ahead and look look up. I want to make sure I post that link there so that you can see you'll be able to see that video that I made, like showing you an account and how to read it and how to look into it. But you'll be able to see your inquiries also. So a lot of people have a lot of inquiries on their credit reports. When I went live yesterday, somebody was like, Rikita, I have over eight inquiries I need to get removed from Experian. I'm like, Experian? When I removed my inquiries from my credit reports, it only took four hours for them to be deleted. I mean, I start working on it. I start, start working on it for about 30 minutes, and then three and a half hours later, they were deleted from the credit reports. Like, literally, it wasn't like that long process. You got to wait 30 days. So, if you see that you have inquiries on your credit reports there, I have my inquiry removal. Go ahead and text the score to 21,000, and you'll be able to get all these different links of things that I have. And remember this, you guys. When you're on Credit Karma, understand that they have offers for you. I always tell people that I want you to have four credit cards, and I want you to make sure that you sit on those four credit cards. I mean, you get those four credit cards, and you just let them keep growing. You just pay them on time. You keep the balance low, and you don't max them out. So if you look on Credit Karma, it'll be easier if you apply for a credit card on Credit Karma, too, because they'll be able to approve you, you know, faster. But go to your credit card section. I have a credit card section. Notice, you know, hey, we pre-approve you for these different credit cards. If you click on links on Credit Karma, it's a better approval. They'll be able to approve you fast or even you have a better chance of getting approved compared to if you were to go directly to that website. So say they have Capital One on there, they have Credit One Bank. Those are the two I always tell you to get. I always tell people if you need to start a credit card, get the Capital One Quicksilver and the Capital One Platinum. And I always tell you to get the Credit One Bank. They have so many credit cards on there. Citibank, they have Discover, they have all these credit cards on there. So go ahead and see what credit cards they can pre-approve you for, especially if you're in the market for credit cards. They even have a section for like loans. And when I log in, they're like, hey, you still can do early voting. So they do so many different things on Credit Karma, you guys. But I want you guys to just go to creditkarma.com, sign up, start going to the different areas, and see what they're really about, you know. And if you have any questions, always call or text me, 833-RIKITA. And remember, text SCORE to 21000. I have it here. Text SCORE to 21000. 21,000 so that you can be a part of my texting club and I'll be able to send you the link so that you can get uh, you can go ahead and fill out the form and send me your cash app so that you can be included into my $100 cash app drawing the that every first of the month so I'll talk to you guys later and remember let me know if you have any questions I'm always here for you guys bye bye
you do is if you want to try my trick, I want you to opt into Factor Trust. So to opt into Factor Trust, you have to go ahead and click here. So this is the website. I'll have it down in the description. I want you to opt into Factor Trust. So when you opt into Factor Trust, all you're doing is telling them, hey, I want to get credit card offers. And you have to apply. You, you have to actually give them your name, your address, your social security number, your date of birth. They're, kind, they're a credit bureau. So they're similar to, you know, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. Those are the three major ones. But go ahead and click Submit. After you click Submit, then you want to go ahead and enter that information that I told you that you'll have to submit. Go ahead and submit that information and click Confirm. Now, when you submit this, remember, you're telling them, I want offers. So be prepared to get a lot of offers in the mail. But that's good because, remember, you're trying to build your credit score up. And for you to build your credit score, you need at least four credit cards. Now, let me show you what you can do after you actually opt in. After you opt in, then you have a chance of getting approved for credit cards without them actually checking your credit score. So let's go ahead and go to victoriasecrets.com because that's an easy website where you can just test and see if you can do opt in you don't have to get the credit cards but you can see if you get the pop-up saying you're pre-approved without them checking your credit scores and without them actually giving you that hard inquiry so let's go to victoriasecrets.com so after we go to victoriasecrets.com i want you to put 200 to 250 dollars worth of items in your cart i already have items in my cart because i did not clear my cookies so if you try this trick and it's not working for you i want you to clear your cookies I want you to clear your cookies and I want you to go into incognito mode. And if you want me to go through that, let me just run through it really quickly. You don't have to ask. I'll just do it. Let's go ahead and click the three dots here at the top. So it's three dots at the top and go to settings. After you go to settings, I want you to put pop into the box. And I'm going to kind of go fast because I don't want to, if you already know this, I don't want to, you know, pull you through it. But I want you to go ahead and click here where you see it's highlighted with the pop. Go ahead and click there, scroll to the bottom, and you want to make sure that you click pop here, and then you allow pop-ups. You make sure that it says allowed. So make sure it says allowed on your computer. Go ahead and click enter again on pop. Let's go ahead and just put pop in again. I want you to go to clear browsing data. That's your cookies. That's when they track you. They know where you've been. So, so far, they say I've been to 169 sites. I downloaded 10 items. Like, they know too much, right? <laughs> so, I want you to clear your data. So, after you clear your data, they're not going to have this information anymore. So, I want you to go to the Victoria's Secrets website, but I want you to do it in, in an incognito mode. I'm able to do it without incognito, but I want you to see what it looks like to do it in incognito. And this is actually called the shopping cart trick, what we're going to be doing. So, I want you to put Victoria's Secrets here, click submit, click enter, and I want you to put that $200 to $250 worth of items in your cart. So, I like to just go ahead and hover over sleep and go to Cami Sets. But again, it can be any $200 to $250 that you want to go ahead and pick the items. You can pick them yourself. You don't have to go ahead and follow these items, but I suggest you follow them, but you don't have to. And you can always rewind, slow it down, or whatever it takes so that you can go ahead and get this trick to work for you. So, I like to click the small. And I like to get four of them. And so I get the four, the same item. I don't like to go ahead and get different items. I think it's just too much work and it's not necessary. So I want to add this to my bag. Now, I want to click check out. Now, as you can see here, the items is actually only $198. But with taxes, it's going to put me over that $200 mark. So I'm not concerned about it. So I want to click check out. After you click check out, you want to check out as a guest. So go ahead and click check out as a guest. Now, I want you to go ahead and type your information in, that same information that you put into Factor Trust. I want you to put your first and last name here, your address here. I want you to put your phone number and your email address in. And the only reason why you want to put that same exact information, that's because when the Factor Trust sent your information over to these credit card companies, the only thing that they gave them was your name, your address, your phone number, and your email address so that they can mail you stuff, they can email you things, then you can get all these different offers, right? So put that same information in here, but I want to type this information in of the client that I have. So remember, you want to make sure that this is that same information. If you do not put the information in correct, then they're not going to go ahead and give you that pop-up that I'm going to show you in a second. So I'm just typing in all the information that you will have to put in so that you can get that pop-up. And keep this in mind, too. There's over 60 different credit cards that allow you 
to get the to get credit cards without them checking your credit score. So go ahead if you get approved for this one, if you get the pop up, I want you to get the shopping cart trick guide in the description where you can see those 60 different credit cards. So I have all of the information put in. So I just want to verify that everything is correct so we can get the pop up. So, so far everything is correct. I want to click continue to delivery. So after you click continue to delivery, this is the pop-up that you're going to get. It's going to say, congratulations, you're pre-approved for the Victoria's Secret credit card. And this is the pop-up for all of the companies. You should get the same exact pop-up saying that you're pre-approved. Now, they're asking you to pick which credit card you want to get. So I always like to get the pink. If you watch this plenty of times because you're trying to master this trick, then you know I love the pink card. So I'm going to click accept now. And what they're going to ask you for is they want you to put your date of birth here, your last four digits of your social twice, and they want you to go ahead and check this box here and click finish submit for review. So that is what they want you to put, put here. And remember, after you go ahead and put this information in, they're going to let you know, congratulations, you're pre-approved for $500. You're pre-approved for $1,000. Now, I don't suggest that you actually you know, buy the things on this. I don't suggest that you go ahead and get it. What I would do is I would just exit out. So I would click that X right there. And after you go ahead, after they tell you how much you're approved for, they're going to see you that card in the mail. So you can go ahead and look at my guide down in the description. It's called the shopping cart trick guide. And you'll be able to get those same credit cards that that's on that guide. And remember, they're not going to be checking your credit score and they're not going to be pulling your credit reports, giving you that hard inquiry. But if you have problems with hard inquiries, then go ahead and look down in the description. I have the hard inquiry removal guide also where you can go ahead and remove inquiries from your credit reports. But yes, guys, I taught you guys the trick. So now I want you just to implement it. And remember, you want to opt into Factor Trust. After you opt into Factor Trust, it's going to be so many different offers coming in the mail. And now they're going to tell these different companies that you want to get the credit card, which is going to make it easier for you to be able to get them. So if you have any questions, go ahead and call or text me. My phone number is 833-RAKITA. And remember, I'm always here from, for you. So you can always call or text me. You're my assistance. We definitely here for you. And if you want me to try to see if I can do this trick for you, I also have a section in the description that says, click here if you want me to try to do the trick for you. And usually that trick can be done within 24 hours so I can see if I can get you pre-approved. If you have any questions, like I said, call or text me. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment with your cash app so you can be entered into my monthly drawing.